Time to get your summer body on, peoples. You know, you gotta be on the beach looking a million bucks for Insta. <sighs> you can hit the gym, do all the weights you like, get your salad body on, or even fake your tan. I haven't done it for the last 45 years, I'm not gonna start now. But there are a ton of things you can do in the garden to get your garden's body on for summer. So let's do something that's actually gonna make a difference. First off, I'm going to show you how you can help your plants conserve energy. Mother Nature, smart, sends all the energy to the seed pods so they can procreate. If I take them off, then that energy is abundant and can go into the foliage and I'll have a lusher, greener wisteria to grow along the side of the house. Now this is a little viburnum hedge that I've neglected. In January and February, we're busy having fun the new growth gets smashed. So a way to make it tougher to survive that is to take off the newest growth. And you don't have to compost it or throw it in your bin. That there could be a new plant. Now for my top turf tip. On my left, your right, I've mowed it every four or five days without a catcher, so it's nice and easy. Just take it off a tiny little bit. And on this side, I've let it grow for about three weeks. So when I mow it, it's going to be hard work pushing through it, emptying the catcher. You're chopping off the grass blade and you're exposing the stems, which means that there's more ground exposed and the weeds can come up because the lawn's gone through stress. So what's the tip? Mow more often and you'll have a better looking lawn. Now, how do you make your garden beds more water-wise so you can relax at the beach or on holidays and not stress about the plants? Well, there is a whole array of products you can use. If it's a new garden bed, I recommend that you just make the soil really fertile, put heaps of organic matter in there. That'll break down, bring the worms in, hold heaps of moisture and feed the plants as well as holding that moisture. You can mix some of this into it, which is water crystals. It's kind of like a UV stable version of what you'd find in a nappy. It absorbs all the moisture, swells up. When the soil's dry, it releases the water and the plant can get it. But there's a heap of click-ons and granules that you can throw out onto established garden beds that work really well. Let's have a crack. Now, a click-on works best, and it's the easiest application on a large area. Now, what it's doing, well, the best way to describe it, it's like shampoo and conditioner going through your hair when it's really dry. This makes your soil nice and soft, so next time you water or it rains, the pores open up and let the water soak in deep. Plants get more moisture, happier garden, better soil, better gardener. Next level is using something like this. It's granular or crushed up, but it means you can concentrate on where you want to put it. With this, I can really make sure I get to the root zone. And one of the simplest ways to make your garden thrive over summer is to feed and mulch your plants. The smell of fertilizer in the morning. The reason why you feed your plants is because a happy, healthy plant that's getting plenty of moisture and plenty of goodness out of a fertiliser like this is going to be stronger from attack from pests and bugs and it's going to survive hot weather and dry conditions. Once I've hosed it off, I cover it with mulch. That covers the pong, keeps the fertiliser in contact with the soil and damper longer. Now, you're not Robinson Crusoe. So if Christmas comes around, you want the garden to look its absolute best, but you don't have a lot of money to spend on it because you're buying presents, taking holidays, and you're filling the table with all the good stuff. Well, you don't have to spend money on the garden. If you've got a few plants in the garden that you can lift and divide. Now, this is Liri Ape, giant Mondo grass. Now, that, with a bit of potty mix and those water crystals I was talking about, will really dress up my front porch making it look like I spent a ton of money on the garden. And really, I just spent an afternoon. Wait. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Go on, Dan. She loves a salad. It's a pie for me. Well, I'll do what I advise in the garden, and I guarantee you it will be showing off in summer, just like I wish I could. Bon appetit. <laughs>